Hey there, Cancer. Welcome in to another reading. So today we have your mid-June reading and today we have an important message for you right now. Okay, I've already channeled some stuff and then we're going to pull some more cards to see what shows up. But uh, the, keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? So this is not going to resonate with everyone. Definitely check your other placements. And if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below for that. And don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. That really does help, okay? That really helps to grow this channel. So yeah, don't forget to also comment how it resonated and share your story. I really always, always love to read your comments, okay? So let's get started so the message that i channeled was no time to lose flow be open and receive don't fear this is well uh or all is well yeah god my handwriting is so awful uh time will tell flow prosperity one step at a time okay so i kind of feel like there's this thing of like you wanting something and i feel like you have been manifesting i feel like you have been waiting for something to show up you have been waiting for something to grow to happen and now i feel like the universe and i feel, I feel like you almost you you could have started like losing hope on something and now the universe you know divine timing actually wants to offer you that because now the timing is right and you're like okay i'm not sure if i want it no maybe, no, maybe i'm just gonna pass it maybe be open okay because i actually feel like that is something that you have been waiting and i mean we have that prosperity over there so I definitely feel like, especially if this is around career, I feel like that prosperity is over there, okay? It's right there for you to grab it, so be open. And um, I feel like the process has been long. It may take a little bit uh, longer, but I feel like it's more, I'm hearing logistics, you know? It's almost like you're you're wanting a new job, and you, you go to the interview, and you actually have the call back, like, oh, hey, we really loved you, so you can start working. But then you have to sign the papers and, you know, I feel like that is what the part that's coming. It's the call and the signing the papers, the contract, getting everything settled, they need to, they need to give you stuff, you know. I feel like that is the only thing that's missing. Uh, it, it's that logistics part. But after that, it, I do feel like if you go with the flow, things will actually go really, really well with that all is well, you know? I really feel like you can have something really good here if you don't fear it or if you don't let the fear control you, all right? But let's see here. What do we need to know for cancer? Ooh, we have the two of cups. So maybe it's actually a love call. Maybe you're wanting to hear from someone. Five of swords. What else do we have for Cancer? We do have the Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So I definitely feel like a King of Cups. I feel like this is so important, especially if this is around love. But I mean, take it however it resonates. I feel like you have been through a relationship that maybe it wasn't... Um, it's not that the person was toxic. I feel like the situation was toxic, you know, because sometimes it's not about the person. It's about the situation you're brought together. And um, I feel like where you were, um, the relationship, how things went, I feel like it, it wasn't good. It's not that there wasn't love because with this two of cups, I kind of feel like there could have been some sort of love, but it wasn't ready to blossom. And now with the four of wands and three of pentacles, I definitely feel like... Either it's with this person or if you're trying to manifest new love, it's actually stable, okay? This person, and maybe in the past this person wasn't mature. Maybe in the past this person couldn't face feelings, couldn't express themselves emotionally. This person that's coming in, they are a match to you, okay? King of Cups, this is your energy. They are a match to your vulnerability. They are a match to your... Um, emotional openness. I feel like this person coming in, it's very, very, very mature. This person coming in, it's open to equal give and take, okay? They're really trying to balance stuff. I feel like you can create something really solid and beautiful with this person. Um, but I feel like because of this thing that happened, you are afraid of it. You are afraid of the new thing. You are afraid of things not going so well, you know? If this is around career, maybe there was something that you were doing that you really, really loved, but the boss was awful. The environment was awful. The paycheck was awful, you know? And I feel like now you may be like, 
what if this new opportunity it's going to start really well but then it just crumbles apart as well what if it doesn't what if it doesn't okay and i really feel like that thing of like no time to lose it's don't lose any time worrying don't lose any time imagining all that could go wrong if you're about to lose some time lose some time imagining what could go well but i feel like the key here it's about flow it's about following your intuition and just being open you know whatever wants to come in i'm open to it and i accept it i receive it you know so let's see here uh ooh. We have the void. Yeah. What else do we have here? We have, ah, uh, that's, ah, uh, that's beautiful. God damn. So we have faith and we have freaking abundance. Bro, that's so awesome. So with this boy thing, I really feel like it's where you were and probably where you are right now. It's like, okay. Am I really going to get this? Am I really going to make this happen? And it's that thing. Maybe you have already lost faith. Maybe you have already lost hope. And you're like, you know what? I don't really care. I don't really care if it happens or not. I don't really care what shows up. Um, and it's because of that, I don't really care that this that thing actually shows up. You know, that's actually one of the tips for manifestation. It's being like, you know, whatever happens, good, bad, you know, if I get it, if I don't get it. I'm good either way because I know that's the right thing for me. I trust that that is the right thing for me. And I really feel like your guides are asking you, have faith that this is actually going to work out. Have faith that this is actually abundance. Okay, that this is actually pretty damn good. All right. Ah, I'm so excited for you because I feel like you have no idea how big this is. It's almost like, and you know, um, usually when things take a little bit longer, to get in, sometimes it's just a thing of divine timing. But sometimes it's a thing of, you know, this is so big that we need more time to prepare this for you. And so I feel like you asked for, you know, I just want the simple love. I just want, you know, I want a simple, solid relationship. And boom, you get a marriage, you know? Or boom, you get a promotion that leads you to Forbes magazine, you know? And you're known all over the world. I feel like it could be that big. Um, to, uh, maybe be open to it. Okay, because this abundance, this is feeling big. Let's see here. What do we have for my cancers? We do have nothing will come of the situation. You, like, worrying and everything, nothing, that, won't, that won't do you anything. Okay? And also, this thing right here, that is over. What else do we have? And it's so interesting. You have the void, and this is the void of course moon. What do we uh, what do we have for cancer? Come on, universe, talk to us. Please. Aha, uh -huh, okay. We have what do you need to release? Yeah. And I really feel like you need to let go of this thing from the past. You can't really need to heal it because luck is on your side and this wants to come in but it cannot come in until you're ready to accept it because i almost feel like the universe is like okay cancer we're ready to give it to you oh you're not ready okay we'll wait just a, a second for you to have that figured out you know and i really feel like that thing of worrying about this situation happening again it's only delaying it so i really feel like if you can get back into that place of flow positive affirmations you know just getting into this Try to do some meditation where you truly are in this place of openness to whatever wants to happen, okay? And with this, we have over here, learn the lessons, learn what happened in the past, why it happened. You are not alone. You are definitely being heard here. Ooh, okay. We also have expect the unexpected. Ah, I told you, I do feel like this is big, dude. And we also have rewrite your story. This is about all about going back to the past and being like, you know, okay, I've learned the lessons. I see why it happened. I'm not going to let it happen again because now I know what not to do and I know what to do. Okay. So you can always rewrite the story because your past not, does not make you, does not define you and does not define your future at all. All right. So let's see over here. What do we have for you? For cancer, what else do we have? We 
release your guilt. That's very similar to that. Rewrite your story. And again, what do you need to release? It's that thing of healing. Okay, what else we have? We have surround yourself with love. And I'm feeling like this one. Take a chance on them. Yeah, dude, be open to having love. And the other ones that came out, um, you deserve sugar, not salt. And I feel like you are, oh, look at that, 222. Two, two. That could be big for you. That could be important. Uh, maybe look for 222. Two, two. That is a sign. Um, and take control of your own narrative. Rewrite your story, okay? And believe that you will get love. Believe that you will get something really beautiful. You will get sugar, not salt, okay? And I feel like you're already expecting the salt. You're already expecting all the bad things, okay? So let's finish this off here with some messages, channel messages from the universe and your guides. What do we have for cancer here, please? We have, I'm supporting you through every step you take. What do we have here for cancer? Anything else? Ooh. All right. All right, well, apparently we have a lot. Um, oh, look what's under the deck. Ah, oh, I love this. Two, two, two. Definitely look for that. Because, or, I mean, don't necessarily look for it like a maniac, but um, pay attention to it, okay? We have faith, you make it. Have faith, you'll make it. Uh, follow what doesn't make sense. It's about following your intuition, okay? What are you waiting for? Independence blocks. I feel like this is almost like, um, if you have it, how would you feel? And I feel like you're afraid of feeling okay with it. I feel like you're afraid of maybe not actually wanting it. Um, it's like, once I get it, will I be happy? Will I actually, I don't know, enjoy it? I feel like you may be a little bit afraid of that. Don't settle. You also have don't give up. Inner child. 444, four, four, so that is another important number for you to look out for. There's too much chaos. Clean up. Yeah, definitely that thing from the past. Power leadership blocks. So it's that thing. If this is about career, how do you feel about being a leader? How do you feel about going to Forbes magazine? How do you feel about getting known all over the world? Your work getting known. How do you feel about that? Because I feel like you may be like, oh, yeah, I mean, pff, sure, give it to me. Inside subconsciously okay do a little bit of journaling around it because i feel like you may actually find out some blocks maybe from your childhood that you may need to take a look at and clean it up okay so cancer this is what i have for you i hope it resonated i hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash like button for me do subscribe if you haven't already that really does help uh and helps this channel to grow and if you feel called to support me in any other way, I would really appreciate it. But it's not at all expected. So if you don't, I still love you. And that's it. So I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.